Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're testing again today and it's the new Revolution palette which is the Forever Flawless Ice. Um, this is a blue palette as you can see it is all sort of blue shades and um, this is the look I've created with it today. So today what I'm going to be doing first of all I'm going to do some swatches for you and then I'll go ahead and do a tutorial on this eye look. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how this palette fares, then keep on watching. So it's my favourite time. It's swatching time. Um, there's three rows, so I'm just going to keep it very simple. And I'm just going to swatch three separate rows. Um, and I will let you know what I think of the swatches. Obviously, I've already put them on my eyes. And I was very impressed with them on my eyes. And as I speak, I am swatching and I am pretty impressed as well. So this is your first row of swatches. So this is the top row. We've got Break, uh, dark, which is a dark turquoise. We've got Drench, which is a mint green. Icicle, that one is a shimmer uh, turquoise. We've got Immerse, which is a gold shimmer. We've got a matte sort of purpley um blue ignore the the turquoise that's kind of mixed in a bit that was a dirty finger and the final one is glass which is that gorgeous bronze shimmer okay so to the far side we have a shimmer silver which is glacier we have freeze then we have arctic which is not showing up that well as a shimmer it is a shimmer and um, we've then got a matte sort of uh, skin color we've got melt another turquoise and then we've got cool at the end which is a gorgeous white iridescent shimmer we've got ocean we've got titanic which is a gorgeous iridescent dark blue We've got Icy, which again is a lovely iridescent colour, um, kind of like a champagne. We've got Crystal, we've got Iceberg, and we've got Climate at the end, which is a matte colour. So now we're on the tutorial portion of the video. I've already prepared my eyes with the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, and I've already taped the outer corners. And I'm going to go ahead and use my first colour, which is Iceberg. And I'm going to take that through the crease and also around my outer corners. At the moment, I'm focusing on placement. I'll come back later and blend it all in. So now I'm going in with the colour break just above iceberg ensuring that I'm not going too far up my eye so that there's room for the other shades. Next we have the colour melt and again I'm just going above the previous colour keeping it as tight as possible. And now we're just repeating that step again with the colour crystal. I'm now starting to work back down the eye, going over all the previous colours, making sure everything is blended in, taking each colour one by one until I'm satisfied with the blend. I'm taking my cut crease canvas and cut crease brush and just marking out where I want my cut crease to go. Then I'm taking some cotton buds and some micellar water and I'm just removing all the eyeshadow from under my cut crease. I'm then going back in with my cut crease canvas and marking out my cut crease. I'm now taking the colour Icicle and I'm just placing that all over the lid. So we're now working again on the outer corner and I'm taking all the shades I've used previously one by one and working them up to the middle of the eye so starting with icicle and then getting gradually lighter as you move to the center of the eye so it's time for the under eye and we're starting again with icicle at the outer corner and again we're just going to get gradually lighter as we come 
closer to the inner corner okay guys so this is the final look i'm sure you'll agree with me that this palette is so so pigmented it's just such a beautiful palette i'm very pleased that i've got this i'm definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this probably around sort of halloween time not saying that blue wash eyeshadow is for halloween i definitely wear this eye look on a night out more what I mean is um, I do intend to do sort of a ice cream look and yeah I think this eye look would go amazing with that um so yeah really really pleased with this palette and if you are obviously if you're not a big blue eyeshadow fan it's probably not the palette for you unless of course you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone there's plenty of shades to to sort of pick between so you don't have to go for your traditional um you know blue eyeshadow from from the 80s as it were there are plenty of shades in there to sort of you know mix it up a bit but anyway um enough from me for today just to let you know um in case you're new i do have a giveaway on the go at the moment it is on my channel i will pop it in the description below and i will put it on my end cards I also am trying to get up to 400 subscribers so anybody um, you know subscribing thank you so much thank you so much for everyone that's done it so far and yeah if you do want to see more reviews I do a lot of revolution reviews but I do have something up my sleeve um, going forwards um, but that's all for today thanks so much bye